In 2015, President at the time, Robert Jones of the University of Albany, looked at the situation and said, well, we have a Research One, a Carnegie Research One University here that doesn't have engineering, and realized that in a sense the university was not complete. And so he launched an initiative to build the college. In 2015, I was brought in uh, to be the founding dean of that college and to start to build it. Not having legacy is also a drawback in the sense that we don't have a hundred years or so of history to point to. But not having legacy also means we don't have the burdens of legacy. So we can look around and identify best practices and build the programs from the start in the way we would like them to end up. We don't have to undo anything that's been in place for 30 or 40 years. The environment and issues deriving therefrom have earned their place as a standalone strong uh, academic engineering discipline. Our environmental and sustainable engineering program, we're looking to an eye to, uh, to ensure that we can all get to the 22nd century, at least as a species, if not as individuals. Uh, we're trying to ensure that we can do that, and that requires um, a specific focus on sustainability issues. And so we, this is part of this fabric or this web approach to engineering that we're trying to pursue. Science and Service to Society, which is the mission statement for the College of Engineering and Applied Sciences, that's really what engineering is about. It's about coming up with solutions for societal problems, working with the bare bones of science to start that process. And everything we do is, is connected in that way. We are building a large wireless testbed, Kronos. Kronos is an acronym for cloud-based hybrid RF optical network over synchronous links. So what it does is it actually has a capability to eliminate the Wi-Fi access points, the wireless base stations, using multiple antennas spread away everywhere. And we collect all the signal together and we process it in cloud. It can be both wireless in the radio frequency as well as optical frequencies where these the lights that you can see we will be able to communicate using simple visible light and lasers. So Kronos will allow research in multiple different domains, uh, for example, wireless networking, digital communication, wireless communication, parallel processing, hardware, software, co-design, optical communication, and we need experts in all of these to work on this unique testbed that we are building right now. Remote sensing is used very widely to serve our society or in general uh, to serve uh, humanity. The first project I have been working on is NASA's SMAP mission. So SMAP stands for Soil Moisture Active Passive. SMAP is a satellite which carries a radar and a radiometer uh, to measure the amount of water in the top five centimeters of soil on Earth's surface. So it provides very useful information about the water cycle on Earth and also it provides very useful information about the carbon cycle and en energy cycle because the top layer of the soil is where the vegetation lives and where our food uh, grows. Automatic emotion recognition is a process of predicting high-level emotions from human behavior or human interactions. Emotion is such a central part of like our experience and our interactions. It's about how we interact with each other. It's about how we even interact with the machines. So any systems, AI systems that interface with humans, uh, ranging from like intelligent assistance systems like Google Home or like Apple Siri, ranging to like healthcare systems to, in, uh, to understand the patients better or even understand like pain, patient clinician interactions better so that we can provide much better personalized kind of services to these patients. So my research, we need a lot of like deep learning algorithm. We need to learn a lot of like temporal modeling, which requires a lot of like GPU clusters, for instance. But we have like a 12 Tesla clusters, which is really, um, really uh, working nicely uh, for, for, for doing my research and those are dedicated just for our college. So I think those, those kind of facilities and the support, IT support, I think that's something that I love about UAlbany. Well, machine learning is a branch of artificial intelligence and the basic idea is to teach a computer to learn from its experience. So, you know, a typical computer algorithm, you tell what the computer to do. But in machine learning, we want a computer to actually learn from a lot of data. We work on a wide range of machine learning 
problems here uh, at the university at Albany. And in particular, one of the most exciting projects I'm involved in is actually detecting fake media on the internet. Those images are particularly designed to um, uh, cheat human eyes, but machine learning algorithm can look through those signals and figuring out those uh, analogies and uh, extract that and use that as a, as a hint to tell the difference between a real photograph or video from a fake one. Part of the reason we've been able to attract the kinds of people we've been able to attract who otherwise could have gone anywhere, right? Why would they come here? It's the excitement of being part of building something, which is exactly why I'm here. When I first heard about this opportunity to establish the School of Engineering and uh, Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, I was very excited uh, because as a junior faculty member, it's hard to find this opportunity to, to build and shape a, a, a college or a department. As a junior faculty, the, the fact that we are new and we are kind of venturing all this together, is, it really gives me the opportunity to experience something very unique that um, I cannot experience in other places. It's a unique opportunity to build such a big college from scratch and I'm, I'm extremely happy that I'm a part of that. So that's why I chose you, Alvin. The growth in the college has been absolutely stunning. We're about three years ahead of projections on enrollments and we are um, being extraordinarily successful in recruiting very high quality faculty. It's been quite gratifying to see.